It's Friday night, which means high school football players all around the county fought back those butterflies and took their talents to the gridiron. On this Friday, we turn our focus to the Holy Bowl. Cathedral Catholic took on St. Augustine at Mesa College. That is where we find our Karthik Van Katraman. Karthik, take it away. Holy Bowl has wrapped up in a holy cow. Cathedral Catholic absolutely dominant in this game with a 42-0 win. The rushing attack was a big reason why they came out victorious. They were able to run early and often, imposing their will on the Saints' defense. Jonathan Solomon, he had a couple of rushing touchdowns in this game. He looked good. William Flores had a rushing touchdown in this game as well. Then you guys had, like, Honor Falave, who had a couple of touchdowns in this game. He was fantastic. And then the cherry on top was one that wasn't a rushing touchdown. It was a punt return for a touchdown by P.J. Johnson. Fields the ball, reverses field, the spin move at the end. It was all fantastic. And for guys like Falave and Johnson, this game not only was a rivalry game, but a game against their former team. They used to play for St. Augustine. And actually, this was their first game back after transferring over from the school that they used to play for. Now playing for the Dons, they both had spectacular games. Johnson after the game on playing his old uh, his old team and winning the Holy Bowl. I just wanted to go out there and perform for my brothers, the Dons, of course, you know, and just be able to come out here on the field for the first time with them and just being able to embrace, like, just be on the field. Friday Night Lights is a big thing. Quarterback Brady Palmer ended up winning MVP of the Holy Bowl. I asked him after the game what were his stats. He said he didn't know, but he had a lot of rushing yards, and yes, he did. He had a lot of fantastic plays. He had a different little bit of approach of maybe the way that Johnson sees this thing. He actually went over to the opposite side of the field after the end of the game to go see a lot of his old teammates because, well, it still means a lot to him. I'm, I'm, I'm friends with their kind of their whole roster. Um, yeah, just we have, I have nothing against them. I'm super thankful for everything that they did for me. It's just a great opportunity to come play against some of my old friends. Cathedral Catholic moves on to 5-1 and one on the season. St. Augustine is now 0-7. Both those teams will keep marching on as the regular season continues next Friday. Back to you, Jake.